It's a happy day today because my football tickets come. When she asked why she wore that ribbon, she wore it for a Forest fan who's going to Wembley. We're going to the match, Jamie's Rock and Soul. Time tomorrow night, Jamie's Rock and Soul. The place is going to be rocking. Here's the one and only Stanley Mortensen. Played uh, for Blackpool from 1938 to 1955. Made 354 appearances, 222 goals. Played for England from 1947 to 1953. 25 appearances, 23 goals. Take a bow, Stanley Mortensen. The tower behind him. Football ground, Jamie's Rock and Soul. And back in the day, you used to go up there and pay in the turnstiles out the back. Uh, that's the away stand for the Nottingham Forest supporters for tomorrow. Let me just take you around now. Sorry about the wind. So now we're going this uh, gate here tomorrow. Careful not to try and careful not to try and climb over the top. Ouch, 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 ouch. So this time tomorrow, the place is going to be jumping, jumping. It's going to be Forest, Blackpool, 7.30, the FA Cup third round. Play to your Blackpool. They do put a lot back into the community, helping people play sport. Fair play. So then what's your predictions for tomorrow then? You do remember me saying 3-0, 4-0. I'm going to stand by that. Uh, as we walk around the outside of Bloomfield Road Stadium, look. It goes all the way round to the f to the front, surprisingly. So what about the team tomorrow? Who's he going to start in goal? Is it going to be that Greek guy? Or is he going to stick with Turner, who doesn't know how to kick a ball? I'll put a picture in proving that point. But... As long as the back four or the back three, Nuno, who knows what he's going to do, uh, we should be okay. So um, we're going to get back to the house soon and combine this little pre-match tour with some council cuisine. I'm going to show you a meal I used to make when I was a teenager and had no money. And here's the other legend, Jamie's Rock and Soul. The one and only... Mr. Jimmy Armfield. Here we have it on this Tuesday night. Our little preview of the FA Cup tomorrow from a red dog. See you tomorrow, Bloomfield Road. See you tomorrow. Let's get home and cook some food. Fellow red dogs, if you're making the journey up with your families tomorrow, right next door to the football stadium, we've got the Arcade Club right here in blackpool you pay one fee i think it's like 15 quid in the winter and it is a arcade jam-packed pool tables computers retro arcade games pinball machines all here at the arcade club on bloomfield road so what's the team going to be then so let's go through the team this is my prediction for the start in 11. Uh, bearing in mind we've got some players playing the um, african nations cup so players like Nia Kati, uh, Kuyate, uh, not available, and a few others. Uh, Awonyi, he's injured. So I think he'll stick with Turner. And then the back four, uh, I think we're going to have Montiel. Uh, I think Worrell may start. And then, of course, the wonderful Murillo. Uh, maybe Aina for this one, I don't know, for his pace. So that's your back four. Now in the middle, like I say, we've got some players missing, but I think he'll go with uh, De Neo and Yates. Um, stop anything coming through the midfield. Uh, and then play with them front three. Uh, probably be Dominguez again. Uh, MGW. And uh, Woodsy Boy. So... Um, how the formation's going to go, I don't know. Maybe flying wingers again, three at the back. Let me know in the comments. But there's my team anyway uh, for tomorrow. Now, the dangerous from Blackpool, after watching the first game, uh, 
Rhodes, to be fair, he didn't play that well. He gave the ball away a lot against uh, Exeter. Uh, but that Albi, Albi, he's a good little fella. He needs to be kept an eye on. He's got a bit of flair about him. And of course, the ex Forester, Gabriel. Um, he might bang another one in, who knows. Uh, and then Bele on the wing. He looked a bit lightweight for me. It reminded me of um, Gary Crosby a little bit. Great little player, but easy to take off the ball. So there's my predicted 11. After the match, you may well want to go to Taco Bell or McDonald's. Uh, or for a game of bingo, it's just behind Bloomfield Road, literally a stone throw away. And you can get yourself in there. Yes, you may well be hungry after the match. You may well want to pop to Taco Bell. Here on Rigby Road in Blackpool. There's the football stadium. There's Taco Bell. The many angles I post of Blackpool Tower. Uh, this one is from behind the bingo hall on Rigby Road. Looking all majestic in turquoise and green. I think uh, seeing the tower lit up like that was a sign. So we'll, I think we'll be wearing the uh, the blue Nottingham Forest away shirt tomorrow for the game to match the tower. Even the buses wait for Forest fans. A few moments later. Here we are back in the kitchen, Jamie's Rock and Soul, for a council cuisine quickie. For one, for one person, I'll show you the ingredients. Ingredients are quite simple, Jamie's Rock and Soul. We've got half a pint of milk. Okay, so we'll call that 40p. We've got a can of tuna chunks, 65p, that's £1.5. I need about 15 peas worth of pasta, so we'll say £1.20. Uh, and I got that from uh, B&M's for 59p. So for £1.79, this is the meal I used to eat as a teenager because we used to spend all our money on alcohol and weed back in the day. Uh, we're going to make tuna pasta, but with a difference. You'll see. So we're going to boil our spaghetti, little tip. Put a tiny, tiny little drop of oil in the water. Stops the pasta sticking together. Drain and break up the tuna. Had a bit of a black pepper. And if you've got it, I don't know, you might have some of that posh olive oil, a drizzle of that, or vinegar, however you like your tuna flavour. Personally, I just put a little bit of black pepper on it. Okay, that's our pasta bubbling away. That's going to need about 12 minutes. So while that's doing, we're going to make the cheese sauce. So basically, we're just going to put a tiny bit of milk in there. Turn it into a paste and then put the rest of the milk in. We've just stirred that into a paste and we're going to add the milk now. Keep stirring. So just add all the milk, keep stirring so you don't get big lumps and then we're going to put that on an eat, on a heat, a medium heat, bring it to the boil, turn it down for two minutes and that'll be beautiful creamy cheddar cheese sauce, James Rockin' Sauce. Now we'll grate our cheese, easy in it eh, council cuisine made simple. So with this cheese sauce, the only thing you've got to be careful of is that you keep stirring it so you don't burn the bottom of the pan. As soon as you see bubbles, take it off the heat, turn the heat right down and just give it a minute or so and that's uh, your cheese sauce ready. Take it off the heat, let it thicken up. Oh, there we go, it's bubbling now. So we're going to take it off the heat, turn the heat down and then we're going to put it back on a reduced heat. One minute, leave it to thicken up. Bob's your uncle. Right, so on the next scene, hopefully, it'll all look delicious on a plate. Okay, be careful with hot water subscribers. Let's drain our pasta. Oh, none of it's stuck together. I wonder why not. So all in all, they're uh, a cheap, healthy option. Cost just over a quid. 
uh, calories, probably about 500 calories in that. Cheese sauce mix, probably 250. Tuna fish, bit of cheese, pasta. Yeah, maybe 500, 600 calories. Guaranteed to fill your belly and a lot better for you than fried food. So I'm going to enjoy this with a nice cup of coffee in my Nottingham Forest cup. And think about the £5 bet again for tomorrow's game. Hmm. Any of you having a bet on the game, subscribers? Let me know the scores, whether you're a Blackpool fan or a Forest fan. I'm interested to know. So if you are new to the channel, uh, it's not all about football. Uh, I go on a lot of adventures, being a Blackpool, living in Blackpool. But being a Forest fan just seemed an amazing opportunity to make a great vlog uh, of me living here as well. So uh, I'm going to enjoy my lovely pasta. Just over a quid. It takes me back. Mm. Super tasty with the sauce on. Have it with a nice coffee. And have a think about the match tomorrow. Ah, present from my sister. I have such a wonderful sister. So, until tomorrow, match day. From myself, signing off. Love yous.